Cisco's RV340 series routers offer a wide array of security and protection features. We'll talk more about antivirus and IPS Connect on RV340 series routers on this edition of Tech Talks, next. Before we get started, you'll first need to log into the router and navigate to the Security tab. From there, you'll select Threat IPS from the menu and navigate to the Antivirus tab. On the Antivirus page, select the Enable Radio button. Down below, you'll see that we have the ability to choose from various applications to scan based on their protocol, including HTTP, FTP, SMTP, POP3, and IMAP. For each protocol, you can choose to enable it individually and select an action from the drop-down menu. The default action is Log, which means that the event is logged. The second option is Log Destroy, which means that whenever a threat is detected, the connection is dropped. At the bottom of the page, you can see the virus database, when it was last updated, and the file version. In order to configure our intrusion prevention system, we'll need to navigate to the IPS tab. Once we've enabled our IPS, we'll see that there are two available modes. The first mode is block attacks, and the second is log only. Further down this page, you'll see that there are also three security levels to IPS. The first level is connectivity, which offers less protection. The second level is balanced, which offers medium protection. And the highest level is security, which is the most secure of the three. At the bottom of the page, you have intrusion prevention system signatures. These files show the severity level and the category for each IPS signature. You can search by security ID and view each ID's description. Switching over to the status page, you can see the status of both the antivirus and IPS. The status shows the system date and time as well as statistics for the last 30 days, seven days, and 24 hours, respectively. On this page, you can choose to view events over time, the antivirus statistics or the IPS statistics. Finally, in order to use the IPS and antivirus functionalities of the router, you need a security license. The license page allows you to view the status of your license. As you can see here, it says that our license is authorized. Now you're all set to configure the IPS and antivirus on your Cisco RV340 series router. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.